You see what I'm getting at, Mr. Paris? A damp towel in the hamper and a damp piece of soap in the soap dish. Brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, you've deduced my uncle took a bath. Every civilized person I know takes a bath after strenuous exercise. Now, don't you? Always. Uh, the doors and windows are okay, Lieutenant. I mean, there's uh, no sign of any kind of jimmy work. But there was a footprint outside Mrs. Peck's window. I didn't see or hear anything. I was watching TV. Mrs. Peck, are you absolutely sure that you turned on the burglar alarm system tonight? I mean, are you sure that no one came in the house until you let Miss Chambers in? Right. You are sure. That's very good. Thank you very much. Uh, now, Lieutenant, that footprint, uh, whoever it was, was not wearing shoes, and it looks like he has flat feet. OK. Lieutenant, I know you're trying to drum up a homicide case feverishly, but certainly you, you can't believe that Mrs. Peck could do anything like that. No, 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 no. I was never considering Mrs. Peck. But she was the only one in the house. Mm, that's the way it looks. Unless there's something in that footprint. I thought flat feet were peculiar to your business, Lieutenant. You know, that's not true. In fact, I have never met a cop with flat feet. You take my feet. I have terrific arches. My doctor tells me I have an exceptional arch. He says 30 years in a business, he's never seen an arch like my arch. I believe you. No, really. Take off your shoe, compare your arch with my arch, you'll see what I mean. Really, take off your shoe. Compare your arch to this arch. You see, now, that's not a cop's arch. Lieutenant. Let's compare arches. May I make it easy for you? Yes, sir. I'm sure you've surmised that my brother and I stand to inherit my uncle's estate, which is about $3 million, right? Yes, sir, I gathered that. I also have flat feet. No kidding. <laughs> you really are. You really are. He's really trying to make this seem like this foul play. It's inc incredible. Well, you have to admit there's something peculiar. Why would somebody do a lot of fencing, come in here and take a bath, and then right away run down to the gym and do another exercise session? I don't understand that. Do you understand that? Lieutenant, this is my loving brother, Norman. Mrs. Peck informs me you're considering an autopsy. Norman, Lieutenant uh, Colombo is a full-fledged sleuth. Homicide. He, he suspects foul play from you. At the risk of being officious, Lieutenant, uh, I think an autopsy might be a very, very good idea indeed. You know, uh, Lieutenant, we are very identical twins, Norman and I. Uh, he, too, has flat feet. <laughs> Just one more thing. 